Welcome to episode three of the registration management series. In the last few episodes, we've gone through several scenarios regarding voter fraud, specifically how deceased voters and canceled registrations are handled. We're going to keep it rolling as we dig into another voter fraud concern regarding voter addresses and voters registered in multiple states. As a voter, you are only permitted to register to vote in one state and in one location within that state at any given time. Certain taxing districts may be exempt from this, like an irrigation district, for example, which may allow for a vote that is scaled to the taxing district. In general, however, one person equals one vote in typical election scenarios. The typical concern addressed in this video is a voter attempting to register with multiple addresses and casting multiple ballots, either in one state or across state lines. First, let's look at how a state voter registration system works to understand why these occurrences are rare in Montana, but when they do occur, how they are handled. Secondly, we'll discuss the penalties for attempted voter fraud. Remember that every voter can only cast one ballot in an election, and that ballot is based on their address of residency. Residency is that place that you live, or if you are away from it, plan to return to. As such, a voter on an extended vacation or even away at school has not necessarily lost their residency of their primary home. In this situation, you must decide where you wish to be registered to vote. When registering to vote or updating your address, you will be required to provide the address where you were previously registered. This enables counties and states to communicate with each other, whether that is to cancel your prior registration or just update your current voter information because the act of registering in a new location disqualifies you from voting in the previous one. Many states, like ours, voluntarily pass this information along to the state or jurisdiction you moved from. Likewise, we receive notification from other states that one of our voters has registered with them so we can cancel their registration with us. By cooperating in this way, voter registration information is updated accordingly when people move. In addition, election officials send confirmation mailings to check whether voters remain at their registered address. If the voter does not respond, deactivation of the registration is initiated. Finally, since Montana operates a centralized state registration system, records of voters who move within the state are updated from their previous precinct and county when they change their registration. To bypass this internal control, the voter would have to intentionally file their new voter registration under a different name and intentionally try to mask identifiers like their date of birth or driver's license number to gain a second registration, as even partial matches are flagged for review in the system. A voter attempting to secure registration in two locations by presenting false information constitutes voter fraud. This is a prosecutable offense, and a second crime would be committed if that voter later attempted to vote twice in the same election. On the topic of crime, in our next episode, we'll go behind the bars and look at the restrictions on voting rights for those individuals incarcerated for a felony conviction, and how that information makes it to the voter rolls. Don't go anywhere. 